guys, for a blind wave, I'm Eric. I'm coming. I'm Aaron. And we're back with the Punisher. <laughs> Last time on the Punisher, uh, Lewis attacked um, the dude. What's his name? Sam Curtis. Oh. Uh, he had him wired up with a bomb. Um, and then they snipped the white cord. Don't say that. Wire. Snip, Aaron. Uh, the wire, not cord. Wire. Um, and uh, what else happened in that episode? They found out, the media found out that Frank is still alive. The Punisher is at large. Yeah. yeah. And they yeah. think that he blew stuff up. Yeah, they think it's him. Which isn't good. Not as good. Not Lewis good. is still out running free. Mm -hmm. And Agent Orange is out there. Yep. And, uh... Madani. Madani is now with uh, Micro. Micro is gonna tell Madani stuff at the bar. She was gonna go to a funeral for Stein, then he died. Remember? Because he got Sam. Yeah. Was his name Sam Stein? Yeah. Yeah. You for fool. Sure. Um. And, yeah. So now Micro is with Madani. Name, I remember Sam. Get him away, Madani. I was like, who? Yeah. yeah it's, it's Sam Stein. Stein. I remember Sam. Yeah. Yep. He's a good man. He was a good man. You thought he was bad. Now he's dead. You thought he was a bad guy. No, you thought he was I a bad guy. You thought he had a healthy like, a skepticism man. that he this might not like, be fully on board the right side of the law. It's like the opposite of grill. Yes, it was the opposite of grill. Grill turned out not to beat notes. Yes. Uh, okay, so we got anything else, Calvin? Anything else? Ninjas. Oh. Ninjas? There were no ninjas. That was in Daredevil. His shield mentioned ninjas. Yeah, there were no ninjas. <laughs> Damn it, now I wish Jordan. Are you gonna mention everything that Shield mentions? Grill! Trees. Trees? Yeah, look, Jeffrey. No, Jeffrey, look at Jeffrey. Look at Jeffrey! What? Why does it do with trees? He just doesn't move. Like a tree. Huh? Ferrets. Oh, okay. Those are not ferrets. I hate ferrets, they smell. They're not ferrets. I like ferrets. Not ferrets. But they do smell. I wish ferrets smelled better. Can you eat them? I'm so hungry. He's not gonna eat them. Only way to survive. <laughs> he's, he's gonna let him go because he himself feels caged. He probably has a wing clip, can't even fly. Probably. <laughs> he's just mm, splat. In a dumpster. And then they get all over. And then the they dumpster. get eaten, and he should just ate them to begin with. Splat in a dumpster. There's the birds! They fly into the chopper <laughs> motor. <laughs> I always wait for green light. You offered him a job. Why you that that's right. right? Up until yesterday, I thought he was dead. This looked like the work of a dead man to you. So Frank was here too to kill a senator? Or it's a setup. He wants to get him, right? Karen! Oh, what's she doing here? It's a page. Interview? I've never even held a gun before today. Ooh, somebody put a gun in your hand. Seeing that kind of violence. I do you really think that's possible? I have to. Was Karen? Oh, hey. Which I think Karen was there. She has a gun. She has a gun. But you did. You wouldn't let. <laughs> Those are two separate. That's what he said. Oh, these are eyewitness accounts. Yeah. Okay. Told you that he was Believe me, the truth does him no favors. I'll go for help. Shooting a senator is <laughs> a political opinion. Oh, another angle on the Russo. It's Paige, Billy Russo. Angle. Pleasure. It's her perspective. I like the format of this. It's like a yeah. Tarantino movie. Oh, shit. Madonna. What's she doing here? Hmm. To see Billy? Or, but a gun is just a tool, isn't it, Senator? I mean, it was a bomb, not a gun. The problem yeah. lies. Couldn't agree more. But you can't give a six-year-old a chainsaw. Why not? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> come relieve you. <laughs> Fully licensed and known to the MIPD. Can I ask why? Personal safety. Society should provide that. <laughs> Society. Yeah, you have armed guards. <laughs> Society is the danger. Of course. No, 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 please, no, 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 no,
this one? Yeah. That guy oh, it fucking hurts. What? He just fucking runs. Frank took a bullet and he said that he was working with him. Hands up! Let's go limp. Hands up! She's so much taller than he is. I know. <laughs> Just go limp like you're kidding me. There's stories for guys. No! Yeah. <laughs> Get up! <laughs> we never did that. Oh, gotta clean up Frank. Holy shit! Dead body shield! Oh, he screams! Donnie. Shit. I think if Frank Castle came in here to kill those people, they'd be dead. Right? Listen yeah, to Homeland, detective. Oh. This is the first time back in Homeland? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. The desk. <sighs> what were you hiding, Dina? And from who? The bug. Show the bug. And then I found a bug in my office. Bug! Show's over. Is it gone? Does no, it look like a there. bug? Okay, no, it is. Okay, phew. But they moved <laughs> be it. Embarrassing. The CIA agent who killed Zubair. William Rawlins. Orange. Are you serious? Did you destroy that bug? He's the director of covert operations. A lot of these multiple angles of different stuff. Yeah. There's Billy. He turns off. Yep. And then we go to Madani, right? Mm-hmm. So cool. Criminal shit, and, then, and if I find out about it, then they don't get hired back. Hmm. He's so good. About to come by tonight. It's not a good idea. Mm. Jesus. If you're trying to make me feel like the bad guy here, congratulations. Nature of the lives we chose. Okay? He's such a good liar, isn't he? Make tough decisions. Man. Live or die by. Like, usually an actor will make a choice. No, oh, like, is that when they bomb him? Like, usually an actor makes a choice to, like, have some kind of, like, you one copy? hesitation or something. Okay. Nothing. Okay. Like Billy Russo. Damn. Fuck that. Yes. It's clear. That'd be me. Yeah. <laughs> Castle, drop the weapon! On top of this, Madani. You won't shoot him. You need me. Madani. None of it. I believe you. Now drop the weapon. She needs her witness. You've been talking to somebody I know of. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Oh! Do reflect off wood? Shouldn't. Shouldn't be <laughs> parked either. <laughs> okay. You do what you gotta do. He's gotta save Karen. Yep. <laughs> He's crab growling. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Did he get shot? What the hell are you doing? Stand down! He was gonna shoot you! This is my Grace, okay. This dies with him. He, he knows. Back. Yeah, he knows. And the only crime in the war is to lose. <sighs> oh shit, she knows now too. Oh, fuck. You, he smirked. <laughs> Tell me why you and Roos. Oh, oh shit! Oh. I dislocated his arm. Probably. He is always getting beat, man. Oh, yeah. Quiet, quiet, quiet. I'm really scared here, okay? We can get out of this if we're smart. But there are cops all over here. I'm not gonna give myself up. I'm not gonna go in jail. I just need a goddamn thing. Nobody else here has to die. Shut up! Okay. I'm gonna be okay. You don't you don't need it. You don't need it. Hey, anyone trying to get in here? I swear this bomb goes off! Uh, uh, ah! I'm on off! Uh, hey! I'm on off! When we were with Curtis, you told me to pull that white wire. You did the right thing, kid. White wire, Karen. You can do it again. No. Oh, that's so cool. Their secret message. The noble. Uh uh. Brothers in arms, right? Do it now, Karen. Do it now. Oh, shit. Oh, the gun. That's your gun. Did she put a gun in there or something? Oh, 
he's in the lock and it's gonna blow. And left and I'm gonna stand still. And when he come out, he's putting the wire back in. What remains? Go, go like a soldier. Holy shit! Holy shit! He just turned to a blood stain. Did you see that? Man. Ugh. Ugh. That's shrapnel? Yeah. How does he get out? Oh shit. How's he gonna get up that? You gonna one arm it? Yeah. Take care. Take care. <laughs> So bad. I feel the pain so Just much. located, has shrapnel on his one arm. Yeah. So, um, after Wilson blew himself up, Castle, who, according to you, is the hero of this whole thing, took you hostage. Where do you have Do you really think Castle's the kind of guy who walks into a building he doesn't know how to get out of? Holy shit! Zip line, look, look at that! Zip line. <laughs> That's so freaking cool. Oh, damn it. Is that the end? Fuck, that was a great episode. I love the format. <laughs> I'm going back and forth between the You hate ones. those, though. I love this one. I know. Well, the difference, though, is that usually they give you the end, then they say yeah. six hours earlier, and then you just watch it. And then you're just constantly waiting until it gets to that point. You go. <laughs> what happened? I just heard a lot of... You just make a lot of noise. <laughs> And then I looked over, he's like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, usually like they have, like, here's the end. Yeah. And six hours earlier, or 20 hours earlier, or whatever, then you watch it up until the point that you saw, and you're like, yeah. well, I know this isn't going to happen because of this and that. Yeah. But, Whereas this was like they cut two back timelines, and you were kind of doing this a little bit, you know? Working and they had a little bit of stuff little. where it was like, well, here's what this guy said, yeah. here's what this guy said. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like the whole Sandra Ori story. Like when he was like, he got his gun, he protected, and I'll go for help, you know? <laughs> Complete, utter different than what really happened. Uh, and I was so confused when Frank came in and was helping him. I'm like, wait, why? There's no, and then when Karen got grabbed, I'm like, there's yeah. no way this, nah. this is yeah. real, right? Like something had to have happened where he's working with Lewis. And then. There's no way he would work yeah. with Lewis. Yeah. Well, was, when he came in clearing and walked off the side, I'm like, What's he doing? He's yeah. trying to make sure that he's going to be clear to be yeah. able to take on Lewis by himself? I don't know. Or something? <laughs> then he starts shooting the center and I'm like, what the fuck's going on? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure that's, that's the same detective or sergeant from Daredevil, right? The guy yeah, that was doing the investigation. It's, uh, Malone or it's Malcolm. Like, yeah, or... his name's something like that. He's the guy that whose who's mom smokes cigars. I thought yeah. they called him Brent Mahoney. 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 That's, that's his name. Yeah. yeah. Sergeant Mahoney. Okay. Um, I like... I liked his first thing, jumping in, like, taking a bullet <laughs> right off the yeah. bat. Yeah. And then from there on, he just kept on getting the shit beat out of him. The rest of the... He got... W when he got shot in the head, I thought, like... <clears throat> it just looked like he got shot in the head. And then Billy came down. I'm like, what the fuck? And then it was just a graze. But it really screwed me up for, like, one second. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> but, yeah, that Madonna, uh, Russo, Frank scene in the stairwell... Uh, Holy shit, like, Frank knows that Billy is trying to kill him. Yeah. And Madani knows that he killed Stein. He was the fifth guy. If it had been a police yeah. officer and that shot him in the head, it had been, a, like, okay, yeah. that's what they're trying to do. But the fact, but that, the fact that it was Billy, who's, he was working yeah. with, you know, friends. Madani, like, she saw, like, he wants him dead, not captured, nothing. Like, he needs to silence this guy. Well, not only did he, he shot at Frank... And then he had his gun on Madani. It was yeah. like he was still trying to look at Frank. Like, did I get him? Are you okay? He like very clearly turned it too. Like, and the camera <laughs> swiveled around it, like showing like the turn of the character. Yeah. You know, fuck. So Madani knows that now, but she, I, I, she, she can't just go after him. I guess she doesn't have any proof, right? And then she's also banging him. So she probably had. It's probably like some weirdness she was. in terms of like. Yeah, I know, but like. How does she go after him? Like it's a conflict of interest. Like in an now. official capacity. She's already so, I mean, not untrustworthy because Rafi's at least on her side, but everybody else is kind of doubting her and stuff. It's it's a conflict yeah. of interest. So yeah. This is, this is all fucked up there, but that terrible scene was crazy. And then Frank just jumps off with the fire hose. 
which gets his crazy. arm ripped out of its which, socket. Uh, as I was watching it, I was like, oh yeah, wasn't I think that might have been a trailer. Yeah, it was Because I trailer. remember that now. Yeah. Because when you were saying the fire hose, I'm like, oh, I think in a trailer we saw him jump off with a fire really? hose. Yeah. I remember that. Okay. Um, but yeah, it, it did kind of have like a format of like a Tarantino movie, which I liked. And now you, you are right. I usually don't like those, but Aaron's right in the sense that like it was... It was done super well. Yeah, it, it, it was. It kind of did it in a way of like, here's this detective trying to figure out what happened. He's yeah. talking to these people, and they're telling their stories yeah. of where, what they did and what their witness account was. Yeah, it was and like... Just, and it's like you're trying to put together the story. Yeah, it's like you're Mahoney trying to figure it yeah. out. And we're frankly trying to catch up. Dude, I love him using that zip line just to get out. He just had that... Probably before he put it on his laundromat uniform, he probably yeah. set that zip line up. You think Frank Castle's the kind of guy that goes into a building doesn't know how he's gonna get out? Uh, okay, I feel like there's an issue with Karen and her gun, though. Yeah, Billy said that he took the gun out. It's it. You should. You'll get it when you go back downstairs. Yeah. Because then, whenever she was in the room and Lewis was there, she looked in her bag and was like, "Shit." Yeah. And she didn't have her gun, right? I thought so. And then he caught her. Yeah. Took her in the elevator, took her downstairs, got her gun from Billy, put it in her bag. <laughs> right? Like, where'd the gun come from? <clears throat> Either she... Was it, was it a gun that he gave to her while he was walling around on the ground after he got... after he took the bullet? I was gonna say, did she pick it up, like, from mm-hmm. one of the anvil guys that died? No, if she'd picked it up from one of the anvil guys, she would have used it. Or did she, she have she a second one she didn't report? Her. Like, I don't remember seeing her pick up a gun. Me either. Though. Maybe she had one that she didn't report. I don't know. No, I understand, though, yeah. Where did she get that second gun? You know, if he's like, I bet you she knows everything that's in that bag. Because she looked at her bag and went, shit. Which I, I took as, like, she was looking for a gun, and it's not there because yeah. they took it from her. But then, shortly after that, she got grabbed... And I doubt he put a gun in her bag. The gun he had ran out of bullets and had a silencer on it. Yeah, he only had the bomb. He didn't have a gun. Well, he had the he had the uh, M9 with the suppressor on it. As I just said, it it's ran out of he... bullets and had a silencer. Yeah. On it. He... So it's not that gun, right? Yeah. He had a bomb. Like he, I don't think he took a gun, put it in her purse, went downstairs. Hey, Billy, yeah. was that gun? Okay, thanks. We're going over here. Sure. I, no. I, I'm just not sure where she got this gun that he's like, Karen probably knows everything in that either, bag, right? Uh, either we missed something, or it's a problem, or we're meant to think that she had, like, a second gun that she didn't report. Maybe. Like, she knew that they would confiscate, <clears throat> confiscate that one, but her being a, for self-protection, keeps an, another one that's like, I thought maybe unregistered. She, I thought maybe she'd have, like, a knife or scissors mm. or yeah, something like I that, thought. and she'd pull that out. And but then pit the thing but she just pulled the wire well i thought she shot. like stabbed him in the leg or whatever you yeah. know i don't know but i don't know i'm not sure where i'm yeah. not sure where the gun came from and to me i was like but that doesn't it make had sense. to have come from castle because when she looked in her bag How she castle said shit i don't know and then that was the gun that frank used to to take her hostage because she was in the yeah. corner it was her and the senator she didn't have the gun then he jumped in did Mahoney they say... They both ran for the door. He pushed her into that. There's no, when did she grab a gun in that? Did Mahoney say that Frank used your gun? Mm-hmm. So I'm, that's the, the gun that he had that she fired was the one that's registered to her then, right? Well, she said it wasn't her gun. It wasn't her gun? That's what she said. Okay. All right. All right. Shit. Okay, yeah, I don't so know. There's he, a Because he, he said that, so Frank used your gun. He's like, well, it wasn't my gun. And then he gave it back to you. It's like, yeah, it doesn't sound like a terrorist, huh? Yeah. Hmm. So he had to have planted it then. Who? Frank. How did he give her a gun? There's no other person that it could have come from, There's right? 100% no way he gave her a gun in her purse, secretly. So we didn't just watch that. Watch what? I mean, I, a gun appear in her purse. That I mean, Frank Castle put there? That she didn't know was there until he told her about it. Was he, I don't think he when? was ever close enough to get in the a gun the kitchen. Into he didn't put. He didn't run over there and put a gun in her. No, when up. he told her about the gun in the How kitchen. How did it get there, Calvin? 
I don't know, Aaron. 100% he put there's it no there. time he, Frank Castle reached into her bag, put a gun in there without Lewis knowing. I'm trying to think. I don't think there's anywhere Maybe where Maybe it happened close. when it was the standoff upstairs when he said, stand down, yeah, he's that's wired. That's the closest he was, but I don't know if and he was ever Lewis close had his back turned to her. I don't think he was ever close enough to put a gun. So if he planted a gun, why would he give her a gun back? <laughs> hmm? If he, he planted anymore? the gun, why would he give her the gun back? Like, if it was his gun, he put it in her purse? I don't know. I mean, he, he had a pistol, but then yeah. he used it to shoot in the hallway after they went down the elevator shaft. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, mean, I don't just, know when he could have given him if he did, but there is a squirreliness somewhere, because <laughs> I've... I don't think I missed anything, but I didn't see where she would have I mean, got it, a second to gun. To me, it makes sense that Frank knows that she always carries a gun with her. Of course. So that makes sense of like, oh, she knows everything in her but purse. But she gave up her gun. But she gave it up. Yeah. Frank wouldn't have known that. Sure. But how did, she, how did she get it back? That's the part that doesn't make sense to me. No idea. Maybe people will tell us down in the comments and we'll be stupid. I mean, that's definitely not her gun Like that she carries. Yeah. Because she carries a revolver. Yeah. It's a little smaller than that one. I don't know. Well, maybe we missed it, or the show screwed up. But um, some other things that I really like. I mean, Lewis blowing up in the uh, the, the walk-in freezer, like that was. It was such a crazy moment. But like, Frank was like, "You can do it, kid." Like he wanted him to do it. Like go out with your on your own terms or something. What, what do you think that moment was with Frank? Yes, I don't know. Like, I kind of liked it, but I'm also confused by it. Like, what's he, what, like, what's he telling him there? He's like, you know you're crazy, kill yourself? Maybe he didn't want to have to do it. Yeah. Um, um, like, be a soldier, take maybe, control back? Maybe it was an opportunity for, for Lewis to end it himself without hurting anybody else. Sure. Well, what was he saying during that part, too? Because it was something about, He like, was doing his, like, a good soldier waits. Yeah, no, it was, it was different, though. It was, like, turning your gun on yourself. Yeah. It wasn't just a good soldier waits. Well, I, something. Yeah, he also said the good soldier thing waits at the very end again. But no, he did say like, and turn your rifle onto you. It was some kind of like mantra that he's like, yeah, the sergeants drilled it into us or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So I, I guess it was just like a calming or a centering thing that he would tell himself in moments of great stress. And then Frank, I don't know, Frank had like a moment of like almost support where he's like, you can do it, kid. So, I don't know. Maybe I'm missing that. Maybe it's like a military thing. I don't know. I don't know. Any ideas? No. I, what do you yeah. mean? I, I would say that that was part of the mantra. Yeah. Like, okay. maybe not the the part that he was uh, sure. reciting before about, you know, a soldier stays where he is yeah. and he's calm and waits for backup and stuff. Mm -hmm. Maybe that was the part like, well, if backup's not coming. Sure. Then and then go out like... They get control back, I guess, or something yeah, is what I, Frank I, was thinking. Are you just saying why he's like saying, like? Yeah, it just seemed like a, it can feel like a confusing moment for Frank to be like, "Come on, kid, you can do it." Like, what was he in support of when he was saying I that? Have him dying. Yeah, just like kill yourself. I Means the Punisher, right? Didn't he? The, the way he makes it sound like he's like, "I'm momentarily on your side to do this," right? I mean, it wouldn't be a. I mean, it can't be an easy thing to be like. I'm just take, sure. take myself out. Yeah, and not take anyone else out. Yeah. Like, he's not like, it's not like a, he's bombing for a cause. Yeah, I know. It would just be him taking himself out. Yeah. But, like, fr Frank's intent behind that line, what do you think that was? Like, take control back of your craziness? Is that kind of what he's saying? Sure. Okay. You don't think that's a good question? No, I'm just, I just, I guess I get what you mean. I just felt like it's like, it's not, it wouldn't be an easy thing to be like, well, I'm just going to take myself out now instead of just taking this off and dropping it down. Yeah. I think Frank wanted him dead to begin with, mm -hmm. and he was just like, you can do it, kid. Sure. Do it. Take yourself out. Okay. And then uh, I mean, he's not hurting anyone else. It's just him taking himself out. Yeah. Which is kind of like different than what he was going for initially, right? Initially, he went in there to cause damage and take people out that he thought was... Well, he wanted to kill Senator Orr, yeah. ...of, I guess, gun control, yeah. which I feel like is just a cause that he latched onto because he has no other cause in life. You know what I mean? Well, it was partially from the uh, O'Connor, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, but it's it's a cause that honestly he probably could care less about, but he has no cause. He has nothing to um, do. You know what I mean? He, 
he, he has no buddy. He has nothing. He has no commanding officer. Yeah. I mean, you know, he certainly he was on that this side. Guy's in cause this. That, that guy barely even cared about because he took off at the sign of a police officer causing yeah. problems. You like, know? when O'Connor was talking, O'Connor, O'Connor, <coughs> yeah, whenever he was talking about it in the support group, like, Lewis was kind of there, but then he kind of had his mental crack, and uh, even Curtis was saying, like, don't hang out with that guy, you know? So, yeah, he probably was, like, influenced a little bit and then just... He's empty. He needs something to fight. He needs some war. Yeah. That's what Billy Russo was saying, or Curtis was saying to Billy, like, this guy is not the kind of guy you want to have. Watching your back. He's, yeah. he's, he's, he needs something to fight. He's, already, he's still over there fighting. He doesn't know what to fight anymore. So, yeah, yeah you're right. I think he's, <coughs> he just saw what this was and latched onto it because yeah. he had nothing else to do. I really enjoyed the, uh, the sound design in that scene when he blew up, like when they took away the ignition and it was like silent and you just saw like him just fade into red mist, you know? <sighs> then the explosion, I really like that. It's a really cool choice for the editor. Um, and that's all I have. It's a pretty self-contained episode, no micro. Um, we had a little bit outside uh, mm. at the homeland with mm -hmm. the bug, right? Yeah. But everything else was pretty much in that hotel. Frank realized micro talked to Madani. Yeah. Yeah. Talking to someone I know. We, we <laughs> have that, so that can come back next episode. And then we also, I, I kind of like the Karen and Senator Ori conversation a little bit too. Sure. Stuff that they're talking about, what not, yeah. and him talking about like bomb or not bombs, he's talking about guns and stuff like that, and this guy causing these bombs and stuff like that. And you're like, yeah. well, that's bombs. Yeah. Like, and with with uh, Ori, be, like they called him Craven, like a political Craven, you yeah. know, with his cowardice. And then I loved the scene, like, because you know, we talked about it before, like, the hypocrisy he has, where he's like, no guns, let society be the shield. Yeah. But you have armed guards, you know, and she looks and doesn't even have to say anything. Yeah. What a great moment, mm -hmm. you know? I love that. Yeah, so I, I love the, their whole conversation of just yeah. different stuff. I thought uh -huh. it was done really well. I like that, too. Um, and then at the very beginning with the birds in the cage, there's just an interesting moment, like... You know, what, it ha what does that reflect on the Curtis, that moment where the... Lewis? Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, Lewis, where the birds refuse to leave the cage and he's, he keeps trying to do it, you know? Like, what does that say about that character? Yeah. You know? It's an interesting concept. Like, what are they trying to say about... Yeah, it's like, you know... Like, what could it mean, like, you know, the idea of freedom is right there. You just won't go. You won't get out of the cage in your head. You know, maybe it's something... And then he died in the cage. And then he died. Yeah. In a freezer. Yeah. You know, Waiting. it's kind of like a cage. Yeah. Trapped. Locked out. in. And, and I, I guess in a weird form of... He died with a little tiny bit of dignity by taking himself out, you know, rather than being, like, gunned down by police or something. He, yeah. like, realized, I'm the bird in the cage. Yeah. I'm getting out. <laughs> you know? Which I think I think that's part of the thing with you're talking about with Castles. Castles telling him to take care of it. Sure. Him, him to own up, him to do his do what yeah. he has to do for him. Not to keep going and cause issues for his dad and cause issues for more yeah. people, take more people out, more innocent lives and like that kind of thing. Frank stalling or talking to uh to Karen, you know, with the whole like silent yes and no. I love that moment, but the stuff he was saying when he uh was stalling was like you know me and you we are kind of the same like was that a moment of frank just stalling and saying whatever he could to get him to to not focus or was he was there any truth there well, the very beginning was when he said about them being the same and yeah. that's when he was like maybe this is how supposed to end you me and a bomb let her go yeah which i think maybe could have been because last episode was the last episode he's like we're not the same mm -hmm. like you hide behind this and that and you're not you know yeah, use bombs. You're and not taking it. I look in the eyes. Yeah, all that, that kind yeah. of stuff. So I don't think he really believes they're the same, but sure. I think the first part was him coming in trying to get him to just let Karen go, and then that's when they went to the whole white wire yeah. thing instead. Yeah. I don't think Frank thinks they're really the same. Sure. Okay, all right. You guys got anything else? Mm -mm. The Punisher, that was it. Uh, let's see, this was episode 10, I believe. Yeah. So three more if we follow any of the other Netflix season numbers, I think, right? Yeah, this yes. should be 13. Yep, okay. Well, what? we'll come back next week. This is 10. This is 10? What? This is 10. This is episode 10. There should be 13 episodes. 10. 9. Shame. Thank you guys for watching this episode of The Punisher along with us. If you would like to see the next week's episode, well, you can go to patreon.com slash blindwave, find that early access reaction, or just uh, wait until next Monday. Right? Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah.